Welcome back guys. In today's video we are focusing on how to use Easy Worship for a church presentation. As you know, Easy Worship is a church presentation program that allows users to create a complete service from a single location, including scriptures, song lyrics, announcements, videos, and sermon notes. I'll try to make this video very simple and short. So when you come to the program, this is the interface. This place here is your schedule where you save songs or other items you need for your presentation. Here is your preview where you can see how slides will look like before you send them live. And here is your live output. Let's you see what's shown on your live output screen. Over here we have songs where you can edit and type in your own songs for display. And here are available songs you can edit. Just right click on it, edit song, and you can add or remove whatever you want to, and then click OK. For a new song, right click on any song and select new song. First type in your song title here before typing in your song. Change the text color, adjust the size, and edit it the way you want up here. Also, you can change the background team and the font, then click OK when you're done. First, you want to search for your song or any song, just type in the song type too. And here you have it. Click twice on it or hit enter on your keyboard to display your song. Or you could type in a few words of the song and bring up any song with those words in it. You see the preview of the songs here and you have to click twice on the song to make it go live. You can also add new songs, presentations or schedule right here. Now for scripture readings, go to the scripture tab if you want to display a certain verse. Say John 3 system. Type in John here, space key the chapter and the verse click twice on it for a display and you can drag it up here into your schedule schedule arise for building a set list of items you want to present in your worship service on the media you can display pictures or videos to add right click on any mc space here and click import new video file browse for the media file you want and open and here it is yeah you click twice on it to display it we add images the same way we imported a new video file select import new image file and browse for the file you want to edit image properties right click on the image and select edit image properties like the aspect ratio so the image can um, fit in here is where you change the theme behind scriptures or presentations or songs too. Changing the scripture theme to this, I'll set it as default scripture theme. And I will have it as a scripture theme. And also in this worship, you can add simple message alerts. Let's you want to send a message to the congregation. Under alerts, add simple message alert and type in the message. Logo here for displaying any image you've set as your logo background. I could set this particular picture as my logo background. So anytime I click on logo to remove a particular song or scripture on display, it's going to show this image. Black hair is to turn the screen to black. Click on it again and it will come back to the scripture or whatever was being displayed. To adjust or change your settings, you go up to this edit menu, click on options, here is for songs, you can change the font and whatever you want to. For scriptures, you can also change the font, the size, the color of text and all. Presentation and alerts also. And OK to save changes you made. Save here to save your schedule for another service or maybe you want to use the same songs for next time and you don't want to waste your time searching for them when the time comes. To search for scripture, same way you search for songs, type in few words of the scripture and verses with those words and it will come up. 
right now i'm going to type in choosing me choosing you and then i can pick the exact verse i want or a good thing to give thanks and click twice on the verse you want to display you can remove an item from your schedule i'm going to drag over a new item into it a song and from preview i can see all slides over here in this tab you can browse for media files presentation or powerpoint files search for the media file and open it's going to appear in your schedule and if it's a powerpoint file which is a video you do the same browse for the file and then go ahead to display it by clicking on it so we've come to the end of this video this is not all for is worship 7 but i'm going to stop in here in case you have any questions feel free to post a comment and thank you so much for watching till the end i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one